All right, now this one I'm going to show you how to get all this over into the title block so that you can get what you need. Now, it's a little different this time because now we have more than just the basic drawing. So we actually, in this time, we're going to do three viewports. First viewport for the main, a de detailed viewport for that part of the keyway, another detailed viewport here for the sprocket arm part. Don't panic, it's actually really to do, easy to do. Remember when I told you sometimes you need multiple? This is one case where we're going to use multiple. All right, step one, I see it here. I'm going to go to title block. I'm actually going to change my layer to projection. There's a reason why. Projection will not print. If you want to check your properties, simply go in here to layer properties. Go check and see. And notice how it's set here to print. It won't print. So you can see it on the screen. So you have a point of reference. But when you go to actually print, it doesn't print. And so that's what I want it to do. All right. So again, straw the rectangle for the first main one. And I want to get that in here. And again, I always want it to be a specified scale. Do not do a scale to fit. In this case, it will be a scale of 1 to 4. So I'm going to go custom, add, there we go. Next, I want to add my little details over here in the corner. My little details. See, I need to get top part of the sprocket in here. So I'm simply going to repeat that process of drawing a rectangle. And I'm going to draw it so that it fits in here. So let's say like there. Now it looks really, really small. And it is really, really small. I'm going to go back to one to one. Oh my gosh, I can't see it. So I'm going to hit the escape so that I don't have the square activated anymore. Double left click inside of the square. What you've done is you've activated the view. Right click pan. And now I can pull this in here and then double left click to the outside of it and it's been deactivated. Let's repeat the process. There. This time let's do a one to two. Again, you can just identify it. Escape so it's no longer activated. Double left click on the inside. Right click your mouse. Pan. Right click there, just pan and move it around until you see what you need to see. There, that looks good. Exit, double left click to the outside. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to look here at the line type scale and I'm looking at it and it may look a little off. So you may want to check your LT scale if you look at it. And let's try 0.5, see what it looks like. If it doesn't look good, remember you can experiment and move it around until it looks right. That looks good. Okay, good. Congratulations, you just put everything to their viewports.